Hello everybody, it's Anthony Coach, a guitarist on YouTube and today I mean business because we're talking about speed. Everyone loves speed when it comes to guitar. It's just something about playing fast that excites us, excites our audience. But it's hard and we're lazy. So we want the most bang for our buck when it comes to the speed licks. So I was sat here thinking, well okay, if I was going to do a, a video lesson about fast playing, what is the easiest speed picking lick? And it, it's that one that I just played. I'm going to show you ways that you can get it faster, smoother and more synchronised. But then more importantly, I'm going to show you different ways in which you can use it. But quickly before I get on to it, I want to know down in the comments, down there, who is the best alternate picker? There's only one name in uh, springing to my mind, but I'm interested to see who you think is the best alternate picker. Let me know down there. The simple version of it is this. <laughs> Just that group of what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six note sequence that is repeated. We love, as guitarists, we love the number six. Why? Because of all the three note per string stuff that we can do. All that stuff, a cross string. Uh, it falls nicely under our plectrum. So that's why I think that this makes it a bit easier as a lick. Because we can group these notes together in sixes and accent the first of those six. Accent, accent, and so on. And if you're not used to doing that, then give this a go. Get a metronome going, nice and slow, that's at about 50 or something, and just practice going. Just grouping you're picking in sixes and accenting every sixth or every one. One, two, three, four. Okay. And it's just occurred to me that I was doing three notes per click there rather than six. It's not the end of the world. It doesn't matter. So da 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 da. Grouping those notes together is one thing, but getting that accenting on the first note is the really important thing. Because when you ramp up the speed, you just think of it as your audience is hearing blah, 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 blah. loads of notes, but you as the guitarist, you're thinking that helps you to lock in when you take, especially when you take this as a lick further, which is exactly what we're going to do now. Because if you do it there, then a nice easy thing to do is to just move it up. And we can move it up without even caring about music theory, and we get some cool sounding effects. <laughs> that we could go backwards I like that one and that would be a nice little lead bit especially up here nice repeating chromatic pattern but if you don't want to do that you can think about the intervallics and learn your scales on one string oh trying to do it without looking like that, when you're really confident playing that, in this case the A minor scale at one string, and you just take this pattern and move it up to the next little group of notes. And you can repeat it over and over and over and over. So that's four times on each little pattern. so on and so on. So when you're really confident with that, you can take it across the strings. So what about this one? 
that as a guitar lick. Let's have a listen to how fast, uh, how good that sounds when it's a little bit quicker. Starts getting very, very shreddy. See what I did there? I did the combination of the first one of going up intervallically and going across the strings. And it's a little, you know, if you imagine tapping, tapping is one of those guitar techniques that anyone who doesn't play guitar thinks, wow, that is super fast. When I'm talking about um, the simpler shapes, things like this, where if you've got experience with tapping, you know that when you build that coordination up, it gets quite easy. But to someone who doesn't play guitar, it sounds like the most difficult thing in the world. Especially when you go. start moving all those notes around it sounds really impressive for very little effort and it's the same with this one but you've just got to lock it in super super slowly at first with that accent uh, you can try to cross entire scales Slopsville, there, definitely, but it's okay, you know what I mean. I don't have to play it super clean for you, you know exactly what I'm getting at there. So let me know if you're going to give this lick a go, and also let me know who is the best alternate picker. I'm going to do some alternate picking while all the stuff pops up by the side of my head. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.